All right, hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another video here. And today I'm gonna be answering a question that somebody posted on a comment on one of my other Luma Fusion videos, and that was about synchronizing audio. Um, synchronizing audio is not really an automated process in Luma Fusion, but it is something that is kind of manual. You know, you have to kind of do it on your own. So I'm gonna show you just a really basic way to do that. A few minutes ago, I went and uh, recorded um, just something using my ADD and an external recorder, and I'm going to show you how to sync up the audio from the external recorder to what was captured with the camera, and then turn off the audio from the camera so you're just left with the cleaner audio from the external recorder. So let's take a look. So we're over here in LumaFusion now, and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the clips out of Dropbox. In the upper left corner where it says photos currently, I'm gonna press the three dots and I'm going to click on import media. I have Dropbox, Box, Google Drive, and OneDrive. Now, I did try to import the media directly from the memory cards with the lightning to USB, uh, sorry, lightning to SD card reader. That does not work in LumaFusion. You have to import via one of these options. So either Dropbox, Box, Google Drive, or OneDrive. Now I also did try to import directly to the Dropbox app via that lightning adapter and that also does not work. So you actually have to go either import to the Photos app directly on the iPad or import to Dropbox or something from a computer and then transfer the files in. So a little bit annoying, but maybe that might change in an update, who knows. But uh, we're going to grab stuff off of Dropbox and I've got my audio syncing tutorial folder stuff here. So I'm going to tap on both the video and the audio clips respectively. And I'm just going to press that little import button on the upper right corner of the window. So now I have my imported media and I'm going to first take my video and I'm going to just drag my video down to my timeline. Put that right in the beginning. Now if I take my audio and do the same thing, I'm going to put that right below my video and if you notice there's a big gap between when my audio starts recording on the external recorder and on the camera. Now if I listen to it, it sounds like this. We're doing some audio syncing We're testing in LumaFusion. Using the so we're actually getting it playing twice. Since there's no way for it to do this automatically for us, we have to do this manually. So first thing I'm going to do is tap on the green, which is our audio. And I'm going to use the left scrubber to just kind of square that up with the very beginning of where the audio starts. That's going to make it easier for me to move around and easier to see where the beginning of that audio file is. I'm now going to press and hold on this and now I can move the audio kind of freely. I'm going to do what I do my best to line it up visually with the audio above it. And then I'm going to, and then I'm going to use two fingers to just sort of pinch and zoom in to try to get it lined up. Now this first blob here is not as obvious as say maybe the second one or third one. Sometimes you can go down the line and find more of like a, a, a clap or something like that. That's the best way to sync something and that's a good thing to do before you record something. Like you start recording with your external audio and then you record on your camera and then you do a clap and then you start your scene. That way you have something to line things up with. But with this, I'm just going to use, uh, I'm going to use, uh, do this for a second one here. Now it looks like it's pretty close, but if we play it, audio syncing testing in LumaFusion. So it actually sounds decent. Let's see if we can get it a little bit better. We might, we might have to kind of go with that, but let's just see what, if we can do any better. We're doing some audio syncing testing. I think that's probably the best it's going to be. But in order to make it completely clean, now we need to just turn off the audio from the camera. So to do that, I'm going to tap on the uh, audio meters here in the left, upper left corner of the timeline. And I've got my mixer and I can just pan over to this video track audio right here and just turn this down, this one right here, because it's on the same line as the video. So if I pan that down and play back. Um, audio syncing testing in LumaFusion using the Roland R09 audio recorder and the Canon 8. 
So now we're getting the audio that's just coming from the external recorder. And I'll just give you a little comparison now with both and with the camera audio also. We're doing some audio syncing testing in LumaFusion using the Roland R09 audio recorder and the Canon ADD. I'm recording with the onboard audio here. So it's not the easiest way to sync up audio, but it works. And um, I have a feeling things may change in the future. Maybe Luma will add the ability to automatically sync audio. Um, but for now, it's not too bad. And uh, I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions or you would like me to cover anything else, feel free to send me an email or comment on my uh, video here. And if you like what I've got on my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and tell your friends and family if you like my content that they might enjoy it as well. And feel free to send them on over. So thanks again very much and I will see you guys on the next one.